So you studied yeah. s- sciences and, and pre-med, yeah. essentially. Yeah, I was a pre-med. I studied neuroscience. That's crazy. And I was going to be a, uh, I was going to go to med school. That's crazy. Were you getting good grades? Neuroscience yeah. is not easy. Yeah, no, I, I had a four point through high school and what? college. And I, I was a good student. I would like, because I didn't have very You're many friends. You were in college. Yeah. At so Brown, I didn't, studying neuroscience. Yeah, so I, di- I just didn't, I would just be in that cold jail cell guess, room yeah. just for like all the time, always. And so well, I got used to just like being on my computer. Well, studying. at school, were you doing any creative stuff, or was it purely? Yeah. Studious? So that was when I started getting into comedy, and I kind of got into it by accident because there was a big comedy community at school. So there was like all these improv groups and sketch groups, and uh, and that had like that had been there for like you know anywhere for like ten to a hundred years. Like it was like a hundred years. Wow. Yeah, there was this one magazine called The Brown Jug that had been there literally for a hundred years. I'd it was like a Harvard their Lampoon sketches thing. in nineteen oh four. Yeah, they're like, oh, <laughs> women can't vote <laughs> or women can't. <laughs> Imagine what's next: a dog voting. <laughs> Uh, we did find old records and they had like serious racist things. Of course. Like, these like cartoons with like, just like vi- those like racist drawings with like, like black, black right. people. Like not like brown, like literally it's like filled in and then those like super racist, like thick lip things sure. that they had in those like old racist cartoons. Sure. And those who were like, ooh, we don't want to be a part of this, but it's great. It's a great institution. Yes. Oh, <laughs> what an honor to be a part of it. So uh, how did you find it? There's oh, all so, these sketch groups and improv teams. Yeah. So I fell in. I ended up in uh, four of them all, all kind of by accident. So one of them was on in there. Like every year begins with this thing called the activities fair. And you like walk around and different all, all the kids from the different clubs like try to like get you to sign up for their clubs and stuff. And there was one booth that was uh, they were saying like they were the character club. And I like drawing and stuff. And so I signed up for it. It was very clear to everyone else that it was the stand up comedy club just like doing a joke. Right. Because they were had someone doing it. I think it was called like the character comic. I forget what it was. But I accidentally signed up for something I thought was something else. Sure. And they sent me a thing like your audition time is oh, like no. three o'clock on wh- Thursday. So I wrote a set and it was like my first set ever. Oh, cool. And did it. And then they like loved it. And then I ended up just doing stand up. What was your set? It was all, I used to do all like misdirection one liners, like okay. kind of like bad Jezelnik. It sure. was like a lot of like I, the one I always, uh, started with it was it was this it's too long but it's a uh, hi my name's zach i like the name zach but i had to sp- uh, change the spelling to z-a-c-k because in elementary school when it was spelled z-a-c-h all the other kids would tease me by pronouncing it stanky fat ass bitch <laughs> and so i just would like jokes like that where it's just like these like kind of soft misdirections uh and and then it ended up going and then I just you know every month I would do a new like five to ten minutes sure for the entire four years I was in college so that helped a lot I'm impressed you weren't daunted by that audition and turned away when you realized what it was that you were doing I just say yes to everything that's crazy there's nothing people are like hey yeah two o'clock you're gonna like have your feet stabbed <laughs> by a group of men I'll be like yeah okay should I wear shoes like I just do just things like the Punisher and Daredevil yeah <laughs> I don't know if you're watching but uh, I'm not you guys foot stabbed no. Oh. <laughs> I pretended to know what that reference was. I'm sorry. I lied to you. That's fascinating. So you, were you doing it monthly or weekly or what? It was a monthly thing, but we had weekly meetings. And that was, it was just good because it just like forced you to write new material. Oh, absolutely. And, and I you like, said you needed that for, for, when I asked you what your routine is for writing, you said you need deadlines. Just deadlines. If I have a deadline, I'll do anything. But sure. without it, I just do nothing. Yeah. So that's like my favorite thing that I miss the most about school is like having like just those forced like... You never do the same material twice because I've been since I've got to L.A. I do stand up here and I've been doing like so many of the same jokes for years now just because on every show you want to do your best, you know, material. And it's you can't get enough stage time with like a good audience to like really test new stuff very well. I mean, you can, but it's like all at mics and things. So um, so that I miss a lot in the. The crowds were like it was like three hundred people crowds, which oh, like here would fantastic. be like unheard of. Yeah. And I just like I didn't realize how good it was at the time that like every month I could do a new ten minutes to yeah. a group of three hundred people. It was like I, I just like it was like the greatest crash course yeah, great in stand up ever. And also uh, something that exists did then that I love and doesn't really exist is we would have meetings of like there was like a stand up group that you like auditioned for. And it was like 12 of us and we would all meet every week 
once or twice and just pitch jokes to each other and like and like workshop each other's jokes as a group. Yeah. So that doesn't happen. There's no like groups that I've seen that do that as stand up. It was kind of like we were treating stand up like sketch or like a TV writing thing. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, if you're like all writing for one comic, right. but this was like this we all help each that, other yeah. with w- their own set. So like some my set, a lot of those jokes were like had you know notes and ideas That's from a really lot of cool. people, and then you know someone else's set would have a lot of jokes and stuff from it from me and other people. So. I love that more than anything. Yeah, like, that's I really look cool. forward to that. And it also forces you to write new stuff because you don't want to be embarrassed when you right. show up with <laughs> shitty stuff. It's almost like a class. Like if I It was. It really I was. a sketch could, class at yeah. UCB or whatever, I would bring a sketch and they everyone would pitch it ideas. It was 100% what that was. And we would like watch videos of comics we liked for like references yeah. and like talk about like it really was just like we like created our own seminar and we didn't even realize that's it. That's fantastic. Yeah, I loved that so much. And those those guys I still work with a lot. It's like all my best friends and sure. from college and now and yeah, I miss that so what much. What was the what was the club called? It's called the Brown Stand Up Comics. Brown Stand Up Comics. Yeah. That's great. And then there was a sketch group called Out of Bounds, which was another thing there. And that one I fell into accidentally too, because my friend went to audition for it. He was like, Zach, will you come with me? I'm like nervous. So I was like, sure. And then when I was there, he was like, Hey, you should just like audition for it too. And I was like, All right. Sure. And then I just did and it just I just got in and oh, wow. he didn't and it was awkward for a <laughs> oh, while. No. But then I just did that for the next four years. Oh and then, wow! So I really just kind of got into comedy accidentally. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't go into school intending to. Right. And then the same kind of thing happened with that the brown, the racist brown jug, and then the this like satirical newspaper called the Brown Noser, and the. Uh, I just kind of fell into all Wait, of them. Wait, so you were in four different comedy things yeah. at once at Brown? Yeah. You were in a stand-up, a sketch, a paper, and what was the fourth one? Uh, just like humor articles. That's like insane. Stuff. Yeah. So How did you have time to do all this? I didn't. I just would be <laughs> in that jail cell always not going to parties or having a girlfriend. Yeah, but to ha- get a 4.0 <laughs> and do four different comedy clubs, that's insane. It was just me. so fun. It was super fun. Like, it was never work, and it was... Uh, Neuroscience is work, though. Yeah, biochem is in, in yeah. itself is a. It's beast. mostly just memorization, <laughs> and I just write it on my arm before the death. No, it was just the yeah. greatest <laughs> surgeons of the world. They're just it's just memorization. Yeah, no adapting. It's just literally the game no of thinking. operation. Yeah. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Yeah, so you're clearly not giving yourself enough credit. So I will. That's very that's, kind that's of you. That's insane. 